Well, alrighty. I'll go ahead and come on and uh, tell you I'm William Brantley uh, from uh, the reporting from the Bemis, Jackson, Tennessee area. Ready to share with you some weather information from my area here on uh, YouTube. Uh, we had a record uh, hottest high today here in Bemis, Tennessee with a uh, low temperature this morning of 71 degrees. I'm sorry, make that 70 degrees. Today's high did get up to 97 degrees. That is a new record hottest high for uh, September the 13th. <laughs> what a date to set one, huh? Uh, the old record was 96 degrees uh, back in 1980, so we beat it by one degrees. And that was a hot year back in 1982, uh, hot summer weather. Uh, this year has been kind of mixed, uh, except for today when we hit the when we broke that record of 96 degrees in 1980 with the high of 97 here in the Bemis area. The heat index get, did get up to 100 degrees today here in the Jackson area. That occurred at 11 a.m. Then again at 12, 1, and 4 p.m. today. Alrighty, uh, let me show you uh, the forecast maps for tomorrow, and uh, that'd be about it for tonight. Uh, hot weather is going to continue, uh, possibly for the next uh, couple of weeks. Next chance for rain is not until around uh, the 25th, I believe, of September. Uh, let me check that to be double sure about that one. And I didn't even mean to leave you hanging here. I believe it was uh, by then. Uh, next Saturday, the 21st. I'll make that next Saturday, the 21st. We have a 40% chance for some scattered PM thunderstorms here in the Jackson area uh, by next weekend, next Saturday. But not until then, though. Be sunny skies, uh, for clear skies for the most part tonight through uh, all the way through next Friday at least. Uh, with highs remaining mainly in the middle 90s and lows uh, mainly in the uh, middle 60s for the most part. And uh, let me show you another map uh, real quick uh, that uh, shows you the forecast trend uh, all the way through till uh, December. Let me see if I can uh, find that for you real quick. I, I, I meant to have this up already. Apologize for that. This is the map that I wanted to show you. If it had come on up. <laughs> it's hesitating like it always does on Facebook. Ah, uh, there it is. This is the outlook for the fall season. Let me scoot this thing over just a little bit. For the fall season of uh, temperature outlook from October through December. Looks like Tennessee is going to be split right down the middle. Eastern section may be a little bit below normal. But uh, here in West Tennessee, we're literally going to be mixed between near to slightly above normal temperatures for the fall season uh, of this year coming up. Uh, we're warm way out west in California in the southwest part of the country. But a good part of the country is near to slightly above normal. And uh, the blue there is below normal. So it's going to be basically mixed here in Tennessee. I thought you'd like to see that. Alright, uh, let me go on to uh, forecast maps for tonight. Current surface map is showing... Uh, a cold front that's moving through Tennessee this evening. It's mainly changing the wind direction out of the northwest. There's really no precipitation associated with it here in West Tennessee. There you see the precipitation is over in the Carolinas. It's going to stay over there. That little bit of precipitation you see there in Arkansas is heading toward Missouri. It's uh, not going to affect us here in West Tennessee uh, tonight or tomorrow. It's staying over there. There you see the other funnel systems are and where it may be raining in parts of the U.S. Uh, this evening. And that's the current surface map. Let me show you the forecast maps for tomorrow. 
It's starting off for tomorrow morning. Uh, cold front does move through all the way. It's just east of Nashville by tomorrow morning, around daybreak or so. And then it becomes stationary south of us down to Mississippi, on down to Texas. And there you see where the areas of possible rain may be tomorrow morning. And nothing here in West Tennessee is expected. And there you see the rest of the country, what it looks like tomorrow morning across the U.S. And that's tomorrow morning's uh, forecast map. Tomorrow afternoon, it doesn't change a whole lot. That uh, stationary front south of us actually becomes a warm front and moves back north of us as a warm front and be north of us in Kentucky by tomorrow. <laughs> Midday tomorrow. But we'll get the break from cool weather maybe toward October. Is <laughs> what it's looking now. Uh, it's going to be fairly warm. Mid mid eighties, I think, is expected all the way through uh, till uh, at least the twenty seventh of September, I believe. Now they've up, they brought it up uh, brought it up to that level all the way to then. Now, so warm weather's here to stay for a little bit longer. It looks like again, this is midday tomorrow. Not a whole lot of rain is expected uh, by tomorrow night. It moves a little further east. The uh, warm front stays north of us. Then you see the way the front looks there. Where the rain is expected. Not no big huge area anywhere really. Even that tropical storm that was maybe uh, going to approach uh, Florida. Now the very latest forecast map has it uh, off the coast. At least the center of it. Off the coast and moving kind of toward the Carolinas, and then back into the Atlantic Ocean. So it's not going to it's not going to be like the one that moved through uh, a couple of weeks ago or so. Again, this is by Saturday evening. Uh, let me see if I can find a quick map of that hurricane for you. Well, not it's not a hurricane. I don't know why I'm calling it that. Let me see if I can find a link and a, and, a, and a map of it real fast. And I'll go ahead and share that with you. I should have had that up already, too. Ah. Uh, it's Tropical Invest 9 is what it's called right now. Uh, let me see. Warnings and Cones. I think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, this is where it's look at this time. It's not even uh, uh, Tropical Depression 9 as of 5 p.m. Uh, as winds are 30 miles per hour. It's not all that strong. Movement uh, northwest at 8 miles per hour. That's the current track according to the Hurricane Center. It was coming ashore earlier this morning but they moved it back out uh, into the ocean. And it looks like it's going to be going just north of the Bahamas. That may be good news for them. And there you see what's going to be by this weekend and on into early next week. And by early next week and Tuesday and Wednesday, it's going to be back out into the Atlantic. Way on out there is the way it's looking right now. So no serious threat to the U.S. Uh, uh, a mainland at this time not as a hurricane anyways that may change though keep in touch you never know on the weekend what may happen that's the current track as of right now all right uh, I guess that's it for this evening uh, I'm William Brantley reporting like I said from Bemis and Jackson Tennessee I appreciate you checking in and subscribing and leaving some nice comments and I hope to have an update for you again later on hopefully as early as tomorrow night and until then, good night and God bless you from uh, West Tennessee.